This is Hot Hotel Sets. I'm Anthony Mercury, here at the historic Roosevelt Hotel in New York City. When the hotel first opened in 1924, you could rent this Roosevelt suite for $7 a night. Today, a stay in this lap of luxury will run you about $1,500 a night, which is about the same price as a plane ticket to our next destination, where East meets West, Istanbul, Turkey. Halfway through our world tour, we are invading the best hotel for international intrigue, a palace fit for a king and home to a super spot. Istanbul has a very, a very long history. It's a cultural center of Turkey. All different civilizations are meeting themselves here. Istanbul has been around since 660 BC. It is the only metropolis on Earth that straddles two continents, Europe and Asia. It's an unforgettable moment which you pass here with a lot of stars in your eyes. With such a rich history, it stands to reason that Istanbul has attracted some of film's studliest secret agents. You never know what will you see tomorrow. Istanbul's cobbled lanes and Grand Bazaar have been the backdrop for cloak and dagger dramas like The International, Argo, and Taken Two. But Clive, Ben, and Liam take a back ejector seat to the granddaddy of all fictional provocateurs. International locations are as synonymous with Bond as his signature drink. One part vodka, one part palm liquor, half lemon, half lime, shaken, not syrup. After showing up in Connery's legendary From Russia With Love and Brosnan's The World Is Not Enough, Istanbul played home to the opening sequence of Daniel Craig's latest outing as 007, Skyfall. Busting PPK caps at homicidal henchmen gets pretty exhausting. So where can an achy agent get some rest? The Turan Palace Kempinski Hotel. Daniel Craig had a very tight schedule and nobody really had the chance to say hi to him. But I was lucky because I was standing right there when he was walking so I had the chance to look into his eyes and say hello. It was great, he's James Bond. Producers put Craig and company up in the lavish hotel that sports boat and helicopter access, an infinity pool with pre-cooled towels in the summer, and of course, a world famous Turkish bath. There's nothing which you cannot get in Firan Palace, that's for sure. You two was another guest we hosted on the boat, and we were singing each other. Originally built of wood in the 16th century, the Turan became home to the last of the Ottoman sultans and was rebuilt in marble in 1857. It's the only Ottoman palace hotel in Istanbul, and the most historical place, by the way, also and the most known one, for sure, in the, in the whole Turkey. Many things has happened here in this palace in the past and still do because we have a lot of celebrities coming to the hotel. Including Prince Charles, Uma Thurman, and Giorgio Armani, possibly lured by the glitz of in-room footbath service. Some people are totally into that. When you're staying at the Turan Palace Kempinski, you can walk the red carpet just like many celebrities did and will do. Sting, Bono, Christina Aguilera, and James Bond. Everybody is a celebrity in our hotel because they are equally important for us. We want everybody to be happy for sure because at the end of the day, they're buying a guest experience. While a standard room costs $650, stars would never say never to the Sultan Suite, even if it goes for close to 40,000 bucks a night. We'll take you now to the Sultan Suite, one of the biggest suites in Europe, located in our historical palace dating back to 1871. The first suite guest was Pavarotti and then Madonna, Oprah Winfrey, and many other stars, and kings and sultans stayed there. If gold-plated faucets don't do it for you, how about a chocolate room? Anybody who comes to Turan Palace can also come inside our chocolate room and experience all the senses. It's very sexy in here, it's very exciting. A number of guests who by day may be an actor, an actress, or a politician, but they can also put on the chef whites and actually make chocolates with us. As soon as our guests come into the room, they're trapped in here. So it's kind of like Willy Wonka in a way, where the table itself is made for breaking apart and eating. Diabolically delicious. 